Hey, season and greetings everybody. This is Kevin from today's Technical Connect. It's almost Christmas time and I'm almost up to 1,000 subscribers. So I'd like to thank you guys, all of my faithful watchers that have helped me to get to this first milestone. And um, you know, I wish I had a giveaway or something, but I'm not making that much money yet. So when the next milestone comes, I got you. But for now, I thought I'd drop a video. So without further ado, this is how to create your very own website in less than 10 minutes. Yeah, that's right, less than 10 minutes. You're gonna have a website today. Can't believe it? Well, let's do it. I'll show you. So the first thing you need, obviously, is a computer. So this is what I run my website on. An Intel Nook, Nook, Nook. An Intel Nook. This is my web server, my FTP server, my media server, and my video surveillance server. All in one. So, Basically, the only requirements is having a computer that you have on all the time and uh, internet access. There's nothing special on this. Um, it's just running Windows 10 and um, has about 8 gigs of RAM, maybe even 4 gigs of RAM, and uh, about 256 gigs of hard drive space, solid state. Uh, nothing too crazy, but um, yeah, I got a website running right off of this. Today's Technical Connect. .NET was actually running off of this. If you guys want to know where I got this uh, Intel Nook, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. It's a great little machine, very small footprint, doesn't take much room up on your desk, and um, it performs pretty well. It's less than three pounds, very nice. Once you have that, you have to install the software called WAMP Server. Now this is actually a three-in-one piece of software. It installs a MySQL server, it installs Apache server, and it installs PHP admin, which are the three components that you're gonna need to create your server. So that's the first thing you're gonna need is to install this uh, software onto your machine. And I'm gonna take you through the steps of how to do that. The second thing you're gonna need is to know what your public IP address is. All you do is type in IP into the Google search bar and it'll give you what your, what your public WAN IP address is. Save this, write it down somewhere because you're gonna need to know this later. Installing WAMP server is fairly simple, but warning, if you, you need to install, uh, I believe it's .NET 4.5 before you install the actual software. Because if you don't install it first, you're gonna get some funky missing DLL error messages, so you don't want that. So make sure you install uh, .NET first, and then run through the whole WAMP server installation. Next, we're going to go to a free website that will give you a DNS, which means domain name service, name. You see, people don't want to remember IP addresses, a bunch of numbers um, to get to their website. So an easier way to figure that out is with a DNS name. So if you go to noip.com, that's actually a really great website. It's a free website. There's no credit card to sign up. And basically all you do is you put in all your information there. Um, they actually have a great utility that checks your IP address every five minutes just to make sure it doesn't change. That's right, your public IP address changes from time to time. It's a dynamic address. Unless you actually pay for a public I address that your ISP will give you one or two or five. Um, but that costs money and this is a tutorial on how to make a free website. So we're not going to get into all of that. Use no IP, install the DUC software. It will keep your DNS name aligned with your public WAN IP address. This is also a very important part to this whole thing. You need to port forward whatever local IP address that you have on your home computer on your router. So all you do is, if you don't know what your local IP address is on your home computer, you go to start, you type in run, hit enter, type in CMD, black window will pop up, you type in IP config, hit enter, and you look for the IPv4 address. Got it? That wasn't too hard. It'll give you um, four octets, it'll give you a series of numbers, and that's gonna be a local IP address. Then all you have to do is go into your router, and in my router, which is a Verizon router, you log in, you go to the firewall section, go to port forwarding, then there, you type in your local IP address, the IP address that I just showed you how to get to, what port you want to forward. And in our case, for a web server, it will be port 8. Port 80 is the, is the port that you want to open up. Once this is 
applied, anyone from the world will be able to get to your web server. This is a very important part. Now, if you don't know how to get into your router, then usually all you have to do is just Google the manufacturer and model of your router and then default password. And usually if you haven't changed it, that's what it'll be to get into it. So once you log in, you take those steps and you should be good to go. So now you have a URL and you have a web server that's up and running. That's basically it. Technically guys, you're there, that's it. Anyone can get to your website from anywhere in the world. Now I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging like that, okay? So let's say you want more than hello world on your website or just a, a uninteresting page that nobody's gonna visit. This is where a little bit of programming knowledge will come into play. But if you're trying to create a website for the first time and you don't have any prior knowledge coding, then WordPress is probably your best bet. If you want to do a blog, if you want to just have a portfolio for your work, um, WordPress is a pretty great place to go. Once again, 100% free, and it's a great starting point to create content on the website that you're going to be creating. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. This is just a baseline on how to actually get your free website from home up and running. If you guys would like for me to get into uh, more of a intermediate uh, tutorial on how to actually create a website with a lot more content than just a regular uh, web page that has nothing on it let me know the main point of this video is how to show you how quickly um, you can set up a free website right from home and not need to go to GoDaddy or any of those other big companies and pay $14 every month for hosting all right the point of this video is to show you that you can do it for free right from your home in under 10 minutes